Hello and welcome to Lacrosse Technologies Tech Talk. Today we have some quick tips about setting up your new C86234 weather station. So, let's go! Recently, we have been getting a lot of questions regarding how to set the station up. And probably for good reason, as it can be a bit tricky. But following these next six steps should help answer any questions you may have. Step 1. Find yourself a large enough table to spread each of the components out on. Something like 5 to 10 feet apart will work best. Step 2 will be to activate your wind sensor. For this, you will want to make sure you have at least 60 watts of light shining in the room you're setting this up in as it will help power up the sensor using the solar panel. From here, you can then remove the black protective film on the solar panel, allowing in as much light as possible. Then remove the tape covering the reset hole on the bottom. You can then use the provided plastic reset rod to press the reset button once. Any additional presses may cause the sensor to shut back down. Step 3. Insert two new brand name AA alkaline batteries into the rain sensor, with regard to polarity. Step 4. Insert two new brand name C batteries into the thermohydro sensor, with regard to polarity. Step 5. Insert two new brand name C batteries into the wireless display, with regard to polarity. You should notice the wireless icons and dashes blinking on screen. This indicates that the station is searching for the sensor information. At this point, we highly recommend waiting for your station to receive data from each of the outdoor sensors before pressing any buttons or moving any of the parts to their permanent locations. This could take up to 15 minutes. After this wait, you should see numbers showing up in each of the data locations on screen. The data may be in the form of zeros, but as long as there are no dashes still displayed, you should be good to go and ready to move on. And finally, step 6 will be to simply set up your time and date. Press and hold the set button until the display flashes to enter the settings menu. Using the up and down arrow buttons to adjust the values, when you reach the correct one, press and release the set button to move to the next item in the settings menu. Simple as that, you have just gone through the hardest part of setting up and using your new weather station. Don't forget to consult the provided quick setup guide should you have further questions regarding details not covered in this video. But also, feel free to comment below with any issues or specific questions you may have. We are here to help you. In the meantime, we hope you enjoy your new weather station. I'm Greg Peasel here for Lacrosse Technologies Tech Talk. We'll see you next time.